So with networking, everything starts at layer one. What's layer one? Well, that's the physical layer. And a big part of the physical layer is the actual medium that you're transferring the data over. Now for a vast majority of networks, that means ethernet cables, for lack of a better word. Now, now for ethernet cables, there's a wide range there. You have Cat5, which is the most common these days, Cat5e, Cat6, Cat6a, Cat7, Cat8. There's a lot to really unwind there. For the sake of this video, we're just talking about ethernet cables in general. So how long can you go with an ethernet cable? Well, you're looking at roughly 100 meters, which translates, if you're in America, to feet of about 328 feet. Now, you have to remember that's from end to end, device to device. So if you have patch cables on the end of that, you're going to run into trouble, right? But Mike, I have a distance that I need to go where it's further than 100 meters. What do I do? Well, you have a couple of options. One, deploy fiber if that's available to you because you can get a substantially larger distance on that. Or you could look at things like a repeater. What's a repeater? Yeah, I mean, that could be anything like a switch, uh, a hub, though I wouldn't recommend a hub. The main reason why repeaters come in handy is because the signal comes in, it gets re-amplified so you don't have all that loss that you originally had, and then it goes back out. So, boom, another 328 feet. If you absolutely must run a cable run that's over 328 feet, obviously I'm going to recommend using fiber or something that gives you a longer range. If for some reason that's just outside of the picture, you can't do it. Uh, companies like Ubiquity have repeaters, which are basically, you know, signal boosters if you wanted to be that, you know, simple about it, I guess. Um, you can run them wherever, you know, end of cable run, end of the second cable run, send it on its way. What I usually like to do is I like to grab access points that have a, a port in. Access point provides power that way to itself, and then send the other end of that cable out to the network drop down the way. But, but yeah, man, repeaters, anything that can replicate the signal and send it down the way. Most commonly switches, you know, everything's gonna come in through a switch. But if you need a single run, I guess you could use one just for that. But yeah, hopefully that provides a little bit of insight, you know, Layer one is actually surprisingly common for where issues arise. Is it plugged in? Is the cable the right kind of cable? Is it frayed? Does it have some type of kink in it or something like that? Is the distance you're trying to run too far? So little simple things, hopefully, you know, a little, little thought process going on there, helping you think about what actually takes place when you use the internet and things like that. Uh, so yeah. Don't run more than 328 feet on a on a Ethernet cable. And if you do, you better have some repeaters of some sort. Switch, in-wall repeater, an access point along the way. Um, anyways, thank you guys. Uh, if you have any comments, please post them below. If you haven't already, hit like and subscribe. Helps the channel out and helps us spread the wealth. Um, and if you have recommendations on videos that you wish for us to make here at Pacaloma, uh, don't hesitate in reaching out because I'm never not going to write something down that you guys provide.